Hi, my name is Jenny, and um, I facilitate the course Boundaries at Valiant Recovery House. And um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, what a boundary is. And a boundary is um, something that tells us what we're responsible for and what another person would be responsible for. And I believe that a, a lot of people in society um, haven't been taught um, what a healthy boundary is. Uh, we all fall into the trap of taking um, other people's um, stuff on our plate and, and we own it and then we get frustrated and resentful. Um, it's no is a very hard word um, to use and uh, it's actually a very healthy word. It uh, teaches us that uh, we're not afraid um, to be honest with someone. Um, in my life, um, I had a lot of issues with saying no, um, and always did for everybody, um, wanted to please everybody, um, and I didn't use the word no, and in turn I became resentful, and I became angry, and I also was frustrated, because um, I was tired all the time, and um, since I was taught how to put healthy boundaries in effect, it's it just a lot freeing in life. Um, you you can do more um, with boundaries. We um, I wrote just some notes here. Um, when we take other people's stuff um, and we own it, and we don't realize um, what our boundary is when we overstep them, we actually stop them from maturing or or getting ahead or even making mistakes because we always want to be there for them and, and help them out. And in turn, um, it doesn't help the other person. Um, it's kind of like if you can identify with having uh, a neighbor and uh, he doesn't mow his lawn and you mow yours, yet your property is, there's no, there's no fence there. And so you don't really know where his property begins and he doesn't know where yours began. And this course just teaches and, and defines, you know, what your boundary is and what the other person's um, boundary is. Um, and when you're not taught that at a, at a young age, it's, it's more difficult when you're older. There are some myths about setting boundaries where people will say that, you know, you're being disobedient by, by using the word no or you don't want to do something and a lot of times um, you'll get a phone call from a friend and they'll say, you know, let's go out tonight and you'll, you can't say no, um, not tonight, you have to, you feel that you have to go into this big reasoning um, behind it and, and make an excuse. Um, but when you have your boundaries set and they're, and they're healthy boundaries, saying no, um, not tonight, let's do it another time would be enough. But for somebody who doesn't have their boundaries, um, saying no, they would feel guilty and uh, feel that they have to explain. Um, I've learned in my life that just saying no, I can't tonight and not feeling like I'm expected to give a reason is just so much more freeing. Um, and you don't live with that guilt, and I think without boundaries, you live a life with guilt, especially when you say no to somebody that you can't help them. Um, but it's, in my opinion, it's all just, just a myth that you're disobedient, or you're, you're not being a good friend, or you just, uh, you're lazy, or you just don't want to help. And a lot of times, we're just general, we just don't want to do something, and it's okay to say no. You don't always have to say yes or be guilted into saying yes. And you'll find that, uh, especially in the, in the workforce, you know, you may have a boss who is, you know, has high expectations and there's certain limits that you can go to and you can't just give in because, you know, he's your boss. If you establish healthy boundaries from the beginning, um, it just makes it a lot easier and, um, and being honest um, with them. That not that you have to give a huge um, explanation um, as to why you can't. Um, a lot of times people will um, have been told that um, not helping
helping somebody out or um, not uh, or having your boundaries not in place that you'll end up hurting someone um, if you don't help them out. They'll say that, oh, you know, if you don't give me $50, you know, I'm going to end up losing this car or this house or whatever it is that they need um, the funds for. Um, but if they've come to you um, over and over and asked for your help, um, you saying no to them is actually letting them take responsibility instead of you feeling like you need to be taking responsibility. And there's so much of that, especially um, when we are passive and we, we just want to be there to, to support it and to help and not realizing that we're um, enabling somebody and not helping them set uh, healthy boundaries. So this um, boundaries, I truly believe that we need in life um, just to live a more freeing life, a more um, joyful life, and uh, having them in place is, um, is, is a big difference. Um, my life has just changed. Uh, my relationship with my children and, and my husband have changed um, due to myself being able to set proper boundaries. Um, in my life as well, it teaches them to set their boundaries as well.